Hi, I'm Chito Ferradangs and I'm here this week to tell you that I've updated the anamorphic calculator or the horizontal field of view calculator if you want to be precise. Uh, what is this calculator again? Well, this is a web app that allows you to input various settings from your camera setup in order to figure out if you're going to get vignetting or not while using an anamorphic adapter. You can pick your focal length, your focal reducer, your camera crop, you can pick your sensor aspect ratio and your anamorphic adapter. Oh, and your single focus solution now as well. And then these are all the values that I need to tell you if you're going to get vignetting or not. This time I coded it all from scratch and the new version is much more like what I originally envisioned. It works much more fluidly and it's much easier for me to update. I did some fixes to the overall math and I added many new features. I added a checkbox for pancake lenses because they're more tolerant towards vignetting. I added another checkbox for baby anamorphics and custom rules for their behavior. And I also added single focus solutions because they affect vignetting and some of them based on the can affect your field of view based on the distance they're focused. Lastly, I included a section that allows you to check if the rear element of your scope is limiting your maximum aperture of your taking lens of your whole optical system. The new calculator has only two functions. HFOV will use all the parameters to give you the resulting uh, field of view and the resulting aspect ratio. And I want a taking lens, will use those results, uh, so you just fill the bottom of it, and your camera setup to tell you what taking lens you need to achieve that specific field of view and what sensor crop you need to get your final desired aspect ratio. Any of those buttons will tell you if you're going to get vignetting with your setup or not. In the last minute, I added a calculator for diopters. So all you need is you put your new maximum focus and it's going to tell you the diopter power. Or you can put the diopter power and it's going to tell you your new maximum focus. And if you put your lens minimum focus in, it's going to tell your new minimum focus as well. And that's one of the trickiest uh, math operations that people are like, what's the new minimum focus? Well, now just put it there and it's going to tell you. It's also good for uh, more hardcore diopter hunters to figure out what's a diopter strength when the manufacturer doesn't tell you. And all you know is like, the new minimum focus for this or that lens is going to be 1.3 meters. And you're like, okay, I know the old minimum focus, I know the new. So you just bring that in and press calculate and I'll tell you the diopter power. Cool, right? Yeah. In terms of functionality, every time you input something wrong, but mostly something that's not a number, the field will flash red and you can't do any math while there are any red fields. So you got to fix them up first. I also included the donate button at the bottom because getting the data to write this thing took me months and coding it wasn't an easy task either. So if the calculators are going to be useful for you, that's one way of showing me you appreciate it. So now go enjoy your new calculator, go break it and I'll see you next week. Chit Fedung's out.